Hi there. This is Mrs. Newton. I wanted to share a book with you about Frida Kahlo. She was an artist in Mexico. And this book is by Hayden Herrera. We're just going to look at a couple of pictures. Um, Frida Kahlo was born in 1907. And she died when she was 47 years old. Her dad was from Germany and her mother was from Mexico and she was raised in Mexico City. Uh, later she married the famous artist named Diego Rivera. Um, Frida Kahlo liked to paint portraits of herself. She had been in, she had had polo when she was little, about eight years old, and she had to spend some time about nine months in a bed recovering and so when she was a child she started making art because that was back when you didn't watch tv and you didn't have a cell phone and there wasn't a lot to do so she started making art so this is a picture of her one of her defining features is that her eyebrows kind of get really close together in the middle and you will see a lot of pictures around Everywhere you go, you'll bump into pictures of Frida Kahlo over time. She had a lot of animals over her life, and so she put them in her pictures. And she put a lot of jungle plants in her pictures, too. In your email, you will receive a printout of leaves. You don't have to use these ones, but these are for our project at the end, after we look at these pictures. So here's a picture of, <clears throat> this is one of the pictures that she made of herself when she was younger. And she decided at one point in her life that she was going to make one portrait for every year of her life. And so she did portraits of herself from back when she was a baby. One of the most important things about Frida Kahlo is she did portraits and pictures of herself in her surroundings, in her world. This is a picture of her standing on the border of, between America and Mexico, and it has a lot of pictures of things that are in Mexico and in South America and things that are in the United States during her lifetime. Okay. This is a nice picture because you can see the painting and you can see the actual photograph of Frida Kahlo. And you can see how similar she looks to the paintings she was making of herself. She's really famous and her paintings are so colorful. Some of them. People really like them. More jungle plants. Interesting made up flowers and butterflies this is her kitty and her monkey she had a pet monkey at one time another self-portrait more self-portraits this is her with her monkey again and a monkey picture and let's see is that the last one this is a picture of her when she was 18 years old. She had a terrible accident. A bus that she was riding in had an accident. And so she had to spend more time in a bed just recuperating. And so she used that time to paint and to draw pictures. And this is a picture of her in real life doing that. And last picture with her parrots. There she is. So I thought it might be nice to do a picture of a pet. Put this up here. You can use whatever pet you want or you can do a portrait of yourself. You can see that I've cut out a bunch of paper so you don't have to sit here watching me cut things out. I also have a black kitty like Frida Kahlo. So I cut out a black kitty and I also cut out several leaves and we'll kind of figure out where to put these. I wanted them to be a little bit 3D where they're poking off the paper just a little 
So I cut out just plain old paper and I folded it like an accordion, which just means back and forth. And in this case, you could use glue. In this case, I used tape. So put tape on one side, tape on the other side, and I'm putting it on the back of my cutout leaf. And then I'm going to put it on here so that it will stick to the paper. We'll just kind of randomly choose a place. That way, it will come off of the paper just a little bit. If you want it to come off of the paper less, you can make your accordion smaller. And I think I will do that for the rest of them because I don't want them popping off the page that far. So I pre-cut the kitty's body. In this case, it's a kitty. You can make whatever you want. You can even draw it. If you don't want to use paper, you can use a drawing that you make. That's fine. So this is my kitty's front paws and part of his body. And then because he's a black cat, he doesn't really stand out. Everything blends into the background. So I put him with blue behind so that behind his head so that it looks a little bit more like a cat's head instead of having it all hidden in the black and so I did this again with the accordion and I think I'll tape this one directly on here maybe like that <laughs> and I'm gonna put his head in front of this leaf that way it'll make it look like there's some depth in the picture. We've talked a lot about putting depth in a picture. I want his eyes to look maybe from here. He has big green eyes. I'll put those there. And put that behind. I cut out some little whiskers and a little mouth and I might prefer tape or I mean glue glue for this part but since I don't have it out right now I'm gonna use tape it's really up to you what you want to use and I will put the whiskers and mouth on later okay there we go then I thought it would be cute to have it tail maybe poking out a little bit I'll tape that there and then I may not use all these leaves I might tape one here so that it looks like he is also hiding in the bushes or in the leaves maybe put one up here and then I just quickly wanted to show you how I made these I just cut out kind of a teardrop shape. Could almost look like the bottom of a heart shape. Does not have to be done too carefully. I folded it in half so that it bends at the point of the leaf. One end of the leaf has a point. So it's like that. And by bending it, it'll look a little bit more 3D. And then I just cut out kind of a frown or a smile claw shape. It's kind of like a dragon claw or something. And I don't go all the way to the middle. I keep going. Um, I'd like to look at, uh, rather than just copying someone else's art, a famous artist, I kind of like to look at why they were making art and use that as their inspiration. In Frida Kahlo's case, the reason she made art was she was stuck at home in a bed and she loved art. That was the finished piece. So, right now, this I'm filming this during May of 2020 when everyone's home with the pandemic. And so I thought it would be nice to make something um, because we are also stuck like Frida Kahlo was, sort of, but we're lucky to not be stuck in bed. Um, another time that I might make art, I would try to 
look at why she was making art. Sometimes she had pain in her body from that terrible bus accident. And so she would make pictures of herself in her hospital bed or pictures of herself with her leg hurting or something like that. So um, if you're going to make art that somebody else has made, you can look at what inspired them and you don't have to copy what they made. You can uh, use your own inspiration from your own personal life, like the pandemic. Okay, that's it. Thank you.